Hello, I am Jyoti Sharma and you are watching Agri Business News. Let's start with the latest updates. UPL collaborated with FIFA Foundation. They are working towards one goal to create a better future for South America by investing in sustainable farming practices and developing carbon reduction projects. Wasted Chiller Tractors Limited, a leading manufacturer of farm equipment and tractors, seeks to achieve its revenue target 1000 crore in tractor business by 2025 by the way of aggressive expansion into northern markets and slew of new products launches in the higher HP segment. Anthony Cherukara, CEO of VST Tiller Tractors Limited, said that the investors' conference called VST has never been able to enter into the northern market because we did not have the higher horsepower segment. Now, we have the products and the initial experience in the market like Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Prison Agriculture Platform, Fasil has raised a $4 million pre-series a round from 3 to 1 for capital and existing investor Omnivore and Webmaker Partners. Other investors in this round include Genting Ventures Malaysia, The Yield Lab Asia Pacific, Anthra's Investment and Sandeep Singhal of Nexus. Fasal co-founders Anand Verma and Shailendra Tiwari said that as government policies are involving to support more robust and open supply chains, there has never been a bigger incentive for horticulture farmers to grow more and grow better. VNR Seeds Private Limited Ayodhya team successfully conducted the Mega Field Day on VNR Chili Krishna 377 at Ayodhya. In this meeting, 168 exclusive chili farmers along with 8 retailers to RTRs have also participated. The main objective of Krishna Mega Field Day is to showcase the fruit quality of chili krishna and to provide farmers a better alternative against traditional black chili. National Seed Corporation has celebrated Azadi Kamrit Mahasam, an initiative of the Government of India to celebrate and commemorate 75 years of progressive India and glorious history of its people, culture and achievement by distribution of seeds to farmers for new varieties development in the fields. The Central Erika Nut and Coca Marketing and Progressive Corporative Camco has sought the reduction of GST on Erika Nut and Copper Sulphate. In a letter to the Karnataka Chief Minister Basava Raja Bomai, the convener of the group of ministers to review the rate slab structure, the president of Camco, Kishore Kumar Kodgi, said that GST of 5% is charged on Erika Nut and 18% on Copper Sulphate. A research report from the State Bank of India Economic Research Department SBI EcoRab has proposed five key agriculture reforms that could act as enablers instead of three controversial bills that are going to be scrapped. The United States Department of Agriculture USDA sees India's coffee production and consumption increasing for the crop year 2021 to 2022. October 2021 to September 2022. In its latest report, the USD India's post has pegged that the coffee output for 2021 to 2022 at 5.5 million bags of 60 kg each or 3.31 lakh tons over last year, 5.23 million bags. Production for 2021 to 2022 comprises 76,800 tons of Arabica and 2,25,000 tons of Robusta. For more agri updates, keep watching Krishi Jagran Business. Thank you.